this is possibly interesting. I showed the other day my tape loading code, um, <coughs> or lo loading hardware, it seemed to work. Uh, but I've noticed I've been getting read errors, which I don't normally get. And it looks like the voltage threshold is too too high. Uh, so at the moment I'm playing some tones. Um, and if I increase the volume, you can see over on the real Amstrad um, that. Uh, so that's what the pilot tones look like. If I turn the volume down slightly, and it gets to a point where it just cuts out. Uh, but you can see there we've got pilot tones, and as soon as it gets to the point, then they're pretty much static, so it's very much on off. Whereas over here, at this point we've got pilot tones here on the emulator we don't and if we just increase the volume uh, you see on here it doesn't actually change the signal much on the Amstrad uh, but if we look on the emulator you can see that we start to get small lines and as the volume goes up the lines get bigger uh, but the lines the spacings never actually get as big as on the Amstrad uh, Oops. Sounds just stop just to be annoying. Um, so you'll see there they're, they're roughly equal on and off tones, whereas over here the offs are a lot bigger than the ons. Uh, and then again, as I decrease the volume, they get smaller. So uh, so they're just on the edge of visibility. Um, yeah, so I guess I need to change the, uh, probably, I'm not really sure, probably the resistance on the input of the transistor, uh, but I'll probably have to get back to my spice diagram to work that out.